welcome back to my channel. I can't believe it's May and this month I'm gonna do um, a planner month. So a lot of the videos that I will be posting this month um, is planner related. I'll also post some other videos but um, mainly the videos will be planner related. So if you're a planner girl and you love my planner stuff, make sure to keep watching and make sure to subscribe. And if you're not, um, make sure to watch anyways because you'll never know what you'll learn and how you can organize yourself a little bit better um, even during these times. So today's video is super exciting. I'm going to be sharing with you um, a mini, my mini happy planner and this is going to be more of a minimalist kind of style. Um, so this month for my stationery shop, Poin Hun, we'll be promoting some new planners. And obviously in all plan in my planners, I don't just use Poin Hun stuff. I use other shops too because I always believe that um, there's always room for more stuff. And it's just really inspiring to see other shops do other things. And it just inspires me to do create better things too. And we all have room for each other to grow. So today I'm going to be sharing with you this mini Harry Potter. Um, another week I'll be sharing with you my half letter dispound and another week I'll be sharing with you my personal planner and we'll be sharing a little bit more on um the planner launch and stuff and there's a vlog coming up so make sure you stay tuned for that um but without further ado let's get into this video so if you haven't been to my channel welcome my name is holly from life with holly lifestyles i'm so excited to share with you my life as an entrepreneur and my tips and tricks for business and today's tip is obviously organizing and planner related so right here i have this mini happy planner so this cover right here is a clear kind of like frosted cover um, it's super thick, so it's super durable. And this is from Poin Hun, along with these rings. Um, these are gold rings that are out of stock right now, but they'll be up in the next couple of weeks. We do have black ones in stock. And then I just have this really cute Ollie clip here, which is the cutest thing ever. Um, I'll make sure to link everything that I mentioned today down below, so you can go check that out. And I just clipped it with um, Poin Hun newest note card. It says, be a light in this world. So some of this, a lot of stuff in here, um, I made myself because I just needed it for myself. So this planner is a used for the collective um, that I am running right now. So if you saw my last vlog, which is my last video, um, I mentioned that I started a collective where we kind of host free webinars and free resources such as stock photos, ebooks, and stuff like that. So. I will link that down below also so you can check it out if you're interested. Um, it's perfect for any girl bosses. So I made this dashboard or this vellum called Smile More, Laugh More, and Love More. And I just have some page flags here to um, remind me. Um, so if I need to do Instagram stories, I can put it in my weekly section. Um, I'll show you in a little bit how I use those. And then here I just have this important task card that's from Point Hunt, which is a new release. And I just put social media as my top task category and then all the things that I have to remember to do such as Instagram stories, um, reply to messages and do a really pretty feed. So there's that. And then these dividers here I actually made myself. They were a lot harder than I thought because um, I think I just need a new cutting mat but other than that they're super simple. It just says inbox, calendar, work and miscellaneous and these are just printed on a vellum and then I cut it with my silhouette. So yeah. So I have here an inbox um, vellum from Poin Hun which we do not sell currently. Um, we're trying to see if we can add some vellum into the shop but that's what we have here. I have my list from Poin Hun. Um, I just keep kind of like a look of what type of businesses to reach out to do webinars with because we wanted to do more creative things also rather than just business related things we have that there and then I printed this kind of like task card which is on a sticky note and yeah so I have the list section we actually just released um, mini happy planner um, insert so this one's available and this one's just lists and I just keep kind of like a running inbox to do um, I don't have that many right now because I'm still focused on filling up webinar spots and then I just have two pages of that just in case I need it for other things then I have this super cute um, dashboard from cloth and paper um, I believe it came free 
in one of my orders with her and then um, I just really like this color and I like how it says you can make anything by writing. So the next section we have is calendar. This is the section I probably use the most um, because I, even though I still use my weeklies in my personal, um, this is all more specific task for the collective. So right here, I also have this really cute card holder. Um, we sell this at Point Hunt, but I believe they're out of stock right now. But we will definitely be restocking. So if you're interested, make sure you go find the listing um, on Point Hunt and leave your email down. Because when we restock, we will definitely send you an email um, to let you guys know. So I just made these little stickers for myself. We do not sell these in the shop. Um, these are just... Stickers just for the collective. So there's stickers such as like webinars and then ebooks related things. So I kind of can put them in my calendar, which I will show you in a little bit. And then we have this free uh, freebie from Coffin Paper, which is super cute. So I added that in here and I love how they're all um, business card size and that's perfect for my planner. Then I made this a while ago. This is super cute. This is kind of like a work routine sheet vellum. It's kind of like half, so I don't have to take up a whole space. And it just looks nice layered with this 2020 area. Um, so it's just things that I can look at if I'm not sure what I want to do or anything. So these are like monthly tasks that I can do, weekly tasks that I can do, daily tasks I can do, and some random projects if I feel like I need a new project coming up and I don't know what to do. I can just look at this as a reference for myself. So now we're in the monthly section. So this is also something I just created myself. Um, a lot of these things, if you don't see in the shop and you're interested, let me know. You can follow me in my um, planner account, Miss Hun, and you can DM me there if you're interested in any of the stuff. I will definitely um, reach out and talk to you and see if we can make something work. So I just created, started this collective in April, so I only have um, from April to December, and then I kind of break down um, the webinars and anything else that I may need to break down, and I just kind of write them in here. So I have that all the way till December. So after that, we're in our weekly section. So these weeklies are available at Point Hun. So what I have here is um, this inbox sticky note from Cloth and Paper. I just had something from last week that I needed to really do. So I just put it right here and I just keep my weeklies in here. Um, there's also a notes section in the back, but I don't really use it because I strictly use it just to uh, make sure I finish the task for each day. Then I have this Today marker. This is from um, Cloth and Paper. I love how it's super um, clear so that when you kind of put it on your planner, you can still see your upcoming tasks when you're like working with whatever's on the sheet. So I just have the sticky note here that says list. And this is like things that I really, really need to do. So I just have them in here ready to go and remind me that I need to get them done ASAP. And then next we have is this week's. And then, um, so as I was showing you the page flags from earlier, this is what I use it for. It's basically, since I do social media um, scheduling every week, I just bring this to the next week so I don't have to write it down every single time. And um, I just have to do it anyway. So what's the point of putting it and taking up one space? Then I have a few extra sheets and that's for the next couple of weeks. And then I also have this super cute random um, vellum that I made. Um, sometimes I just randomly design things. I just put it in. So if you're interested, let me know. And then I have some daily sheets here just in case it gets super busy and I have a lot of tasks to do that day. And I just use it when I really need to. So the next section here is work. Um, I have these top tabs here, which I haven't labeled yet. These are from um, cloth and paper. These are just um, things that I would need to do and need to track. So for example, the first section is social media. So the first section here is social media. The dividers are pretty similar to the today marker. So it, it's nice that it kind of like shows exactly what the next page is. Um, I also have the super cute freebie from the planner spot. So I just made, put this, printed it in vellum actually, and then I just taped it here. So this is the social media section. It's a section that I made just for the sake of what I need to do. Um, I have in the back kind of like um, a, a preview of the Instagram feed. 
Um, I also have it obviously in the app that I use, but sometimes looking at it, it's a lot better and I can kind of like um, figure it out in my content calendar. So here I have this content calendar here. I kind of created it um, based on the month and I just focused on Monday to Friday because Saturday and Sunday I do not post. And on the side it says um, if I want to um, remind myself of something really important. So for example, if I need to do a story, a specific story for that day, um, I check story and then I write down what it is. And then if it's a post, I will write down like what post it is and why is it important and what I need to do with it. So it might be a blog, it might be a post, a story or a blog. So I have that also for the rest of the year, which is super nice and I have that all ready to go. Then we have some notes pages in case I ever need notes. So I just have a few sheets of those here. Next section here, supposedly shops. I haven't really um, done any planning, intensive planning yet, but um, so these are things that I can be focusing on for the shop. And I just have these cloth and paper sticky notes here. So just eBooks, um, stock photos, different types of stock photos and templates. So in here I have this super cute, um, Vellum here, you can actually purchase this. So if you follow me on my planner account, Miss Hun, you can get a digital file of this. So here's what it looks like. This is not available at Coin Hun, but um, I created this and I might create more of this stuff in the future if I like it, because I'm just testing it out right now. And I might even do it in bigger sizes. So we'll see about that. But it's just kind of like um, a calendar for the shop. So kind of seeing that in April 1st, I posted some stock photos um the two weeks later i did the ebook so i kind of see like every two weeks maybe i should um launch something so that i should i can keep the shop um going and um kind of not just posting random things at random times so we have that all the way till the end of the year i believe and um, i made some note pages in the back so it's super cute and then this next section here is supposed to be resources so for the blog anything free related um haven't had time to write a list yet but um it's only been a month since i started this so I'm just taking it slow and kind of seeing what works and what doesn't work and then go from there basically. And then this last section here is just lists. It's supposed to be lists for anything. So if I want to write ebook in here, I can list all the random ebooks I can be working on or um, stock photos, all the different categories that I can do. So I just have those in here. This is also available as an insert at Point Hun. You can purchase it printed. And then the last section here is the notes section. So this is just basically random notes that just come to my mind or even notes that um, I kind of see or I kind of want to write down when I am watching a webinar. So um, if one of our hosts is hosting a webinar and I think it's really interesting or if I like what they're saying or if I want to actually learn something then I basically just write it down in here and I just have a bunch of sheets for that and then at the end I have this acetate that I had for a while so I decided to cut it up and right now it's kind of using as my pocket I printed these um, stickers for myself because I knew I'll probably need a lot of them so I have them here and then in my personal planner I had some notes so I just kept them in here um, and if I ever need it I can refer to it and or I can um, make sure or put it in a new notes page I'm not sure what I'll do with it yet but I just kept it in here for now until I decide to figure out what to do with it so that is pretty much it um, that's all I have here and Thank you for watching this video. Um, it's super cute. I love using this for this collective because um, the collective is kind of like a small passion project for me. So a small planner would be perfect for it. So I don't always have to take this out because um, this is probably stuff I would work at home with and it's just super cute. So that is it for today. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to follow me on Life with Holly Lifestyles for my lifestyle stuff and behind the scenes and all that. And stay tuned for next week and the future weeks after that for my other planner setups and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!